Hello, this is Dr. Iris Franz from the Cameron School of Business at the University of St. Thomas, Houston. Today we're going to talk about GDP gap and Oakland's law. So the idea is that we want to know what is the cost of unemployment. And um, the cost is really foregone GDP. So the formula is this GDP gap is equal to actual GDP minus potential GDP. So actual GDP, of course, is a GDP under the current unemployment rate. which includes frictional unemployment plus structural unemployment plus cyclical unemployment. And um, potential GDP is the GDP under natural rate of unemployment And we know that natural rate of unemployment is equal to frictional unemployment plus structural unemployment. And um, if your actual GDP is lower than potential GDP, that means, hey, in your economy, you have people who are cyclically unemployed. They are out of job because of a recession. And uh, the cause is that um, we have people who are now working. They could be working and they could be making more goods and services, and they could add up to GDP. That's the cost. And now we're going to use a parable to talk about how um, GDP gap works. So think about this. Uh, think about your task. And um, you do know that you have a potential grade and the actual grade. So um, let's see, let's say um, you're, if you study hard, and uh, you go to all classes and you review, then um, you'll get a good grade. We call that the potential grade. And um, um, say if you do all the studying, your potential grade is 90 points for economics, let's say. Um, but the truth is you actually didn't study very hard before the test because you went to the party um, and you didn't sleep well before the night before the test because you were partying until 2 o'clock in the morning. So your um, actual grade is lower than your potential grade because, hey, you didn't study hard. So um, let's say your actual grade is 80. Then you have a grade gap. And the gap is negative 10. So it tells you, hey, um, when you could have studied, you were not studying. Maybe you were doing something fun, but you were not studying. So um, the time that could have been used to study, you were not studying. And that's the cost. Um, the cost of not studying is a bad grade. And that's a negative 10 here. And similarly, in the economy, you could have put more workers to work and achieve your potential GDP. But um, because of a recession, they are out of their job, they are cyclically employed, and therefore the result is a, GDP, a negative GDP gap. And Ocon's law tells us that for every 1% of unemployment that exceeds um, natural rate of unemployment, you are going to produce negative 2% of GDP gap. So that's the cost of unemployment. And that concludes our uh, mini session of uh, GDP gap in Oakland's law. Good luck with your studying and see you next time.